what is the best setting for when you're taking astrophotography photos like this with your Galaxy S21 Ultra? You've got options. You can go 30 seconds, 3200 ISO. You can bring it down to 15, 1600 ISO and shoot for 15 seconds. Even 800 ISO and shoot for 15 seconds. Which option is the best? In this video, that's what we're talking about. Let's get into it. G'day guys, Shane Austin here. Welcome to 5 Minute Friday. Today we are talking all about the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra in astrophotography mode. If you think that you're into that sort of thing, I do two videos each and every week all about small sense of photography. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, and you'll see what I do each and every week. And if you have done that, you're a bloody legend. So what I did, I went out and I took some photos of the Milky Way, the galactic core, rising up early in the morning with a bunch of different options as far as the settings go. I shot for 30 seconds at 3200 ISO, 30 seconds at 15, 1600 ISO, and 30 seconds at 800 ISO. And then I went ahead and I did exactly the same settings with the ISO for 15 seconds shutter speed duration. And we'll have a look at these right now. So which one of these is going to be the best? I have my ideas of what's going to be the best. I shoot a certain way pretty much all the time. And those of you who watch this channel, you know that. But let's have a look at these and you can decide for yourself which one is the best option for you. So here are the photos, one, two, three, four, five, six photos in Adobe Lightroom on the computer. I've edited all of these photos. These are all shot raw. So raw files straight out of the camera into Adobe Lightroom on the computer. And I've edited all of these so I get them looking as close as possible to be the same. You can look down the bottom there and they look pretty bloody close. So let's have a look at the details that are in these. First of all, this photo here is how I shoot almost everything that I do here. The thing that you need to keep in mind is where I am when I'm taking these sorts of photos. Can you believe this photo came out of a bloody phone? It's just ridiculous. So where I am is really, really absent of any light pollution. So if you want to replicate this sort of a photo, you need to get away from the cities, get away from the town. Uh, I'll link down the bottom to a really good resource. It's uh, a light pollution map website and you can punch into that website where you are and what the light pollution is in your area. And you can see by the looking at these maps where you need to go to get away from that light pollution to take photos like this. But if you're in a position where you can do this sort of thing, sweet, let's move on with it. So there's the first photo. This one here, if I look at the, um, the metadata on this one, this is with the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. We shot uh, 30 seconds, f1.8, and the ISO up the top here, you can see 3200. So this is the way that I generally shoot these sorts of photos. We go across to the next ones. Uh, this one's 1600 ISO, 30 seconds. You can see it up the top there. Um, next one across is ISO 800, 30 seconds. And the next one is ISO 800 at 15 seconds. And we'll go and look at these a little bit closer. And the next two are ISO 1600 at uh, 15 seconds and 3200 at 15 seconds. So the first one I look at, like I said, these will all be edited. Um, and what I've done with these is basically, um, you can see down the side here, I've, I've set the white balance to the same for all of them. I've set the contrast more or less in all of them to get them to look pretty much the same. So when I zoom into this photo, um, the first thing we're going to see is star trails. And there's lots of star trails. We're shooting at 30 seconds. We're absolutely uh, obliterating that rule of 500. And when we think about the rule of 500, um, the Galaxy S21 Ultra, the main sensor on the main camera on that camera, uh, main camera on that phone, is roughly 24 millimeters equivalent to a, uh, a full, full frame camera. So when we talk about the rule of 500, we're talking about 500 divided by that focal length, and that gives us roughly the shooting time that you can achieve without getting star trails. So for this particular phone, we should be looking at 20 seconds. Now we can't shoot 20 seconds on this phone. We can shoot 10, 15, and up to 30. It doesn't give us somewhere in between. So it ends up being a little bit of a trade-off. Do I shoot for a longer duration and catch more light to make more detail in the sky and just accept the fact that I'm going to have some star trails? Or do I bump it down and run the risk of not catching as much light, therefore not as much stars, not as much detail in the sky, but with no star trails? So 
For me personally, when I'm shooting something as small as a phone sensor, I don't really care too much about that. There's ways around it, of course. You can take multiple images of 15 seconds and then stack them and make them more deep, get more detail out of it that way. Um, it's a lot more work. These are generally one shot photos. All right, so let's look at all of these photos. So here's the photo that we're looking at initially. This is the 3200, 30 second photo. A lot of star trails, a little bit of noise and we've been able to get rid of most of that noise out of there. So let's look at the next one and the next one is 1600 at 30 seconds as well. So we're going to see star trails and we do see star trails. Um, I expect to see it because of what I've just talked about. Um, there's not as much noise, um, but if I look at, this is the 3200 ISO, this is the um, 1600 ISO and the difference in the noise in my honest opinion is negligible it's no one's gonna notice that let's go to 800 ISO at 30 seconds still there's less noise we'll go into the galactic core into the center of the core that's where the detail is usually going to be there or not so in the center of that gaseous cloud that's that 800 ISO Let's go over to um, 1600 ISO between these two. I would say there isn't much of a difference. Let's go to 3200 ISO and go to 800, between 800 and 32. Not quite the same part of the core. Is there much of a difference? Let's say there is a little bit. There's more detail in at 3200. So that sensor is, well, that sensitivity at ISO 3200 is better. It's picking up more light. <clears throat> Let's go down now to 15 seconds and just look up at the core again. I'll just zoom out so you can see the photo overall. So this is at uh, 15 seconds at a ISO 800. And I zoom right in there and there's a lot of noise. And the reason there's a lot of noise is that we didn't catch a lot of noise in the beginning. Um, we've had to bring it all out in the edit. So that results in a fair bit of noise. If I go next to the one, next now, to the 1600 at 15 seconds, there's still a fair bit of noise in there. Um, and we, it's a fair bit of noise because I'm trying to make this look like the other photos. Um, I'll reset all these photos in a second, you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. Um, let's go to the next one. And the next one is uh, ISO uh, 3200 at 15 seconds. There's a bit more detail in this one, and there's a fair bit of noise still. So at the end of the day, you've really got to work out what you want to achieve out of these photos. Uh, for me personally, I find it perfectly acceptable on a sensor that's the size of my little fingernail to shoot at 3200 and 30 seconds. That's my personal preference. You could absolutely be a pixel peeping Tom and look at this thing and you go, well, you've got light trails, your photo sucks. Well kudos to you I'm shooting it off a bloody phone and if I was that concerned about it I'd shoot it with a proper camera but um, in my honest opinion 3200 30 seconds if you're in somewhere that's got a light pollution problem and um, you can't get this sort of detail well I would certainly be looking at one of these later options the 15 second option um, with the varying ISOs and you're going to still catch something of the galactic core um, in a reasonably built up area not too much um, we're looking at um, you know three or two, three or four, I guess on the scale, you'd be able to shoot this um, using those different options. My advice to you is when you're out there shooting this sort of thing, is to um, go and try all these things. You think all these different settings and see what works for you in those locations. Let's look at the settings that we've got here, the, the photos that we've got, and these are pretty much the main options that you're going to have uh, when you're shooting this sort of photo. There are six photos here at 30 seconds each, or maximum 30 seconds each. This is taking you a maximum of you know three minutes. Just try the bloody things. Try the different settings. Try all settings and see what is best for you. What I'll do, I'll reset some of these photos. This is the ISO 3200 I'll, and 30 seconds. I'll reset that. That's how it came out of the camera, just like that there. And you can see there's a lot of noise when I zoom into this. Let's go down to the 800 at 15 seconds. Remember, this one had a lot of noise. And I'll reset this, and it's dark as dark can be. There's nothing in that. If I hit the auto button, and it'll throw a heap of light at it, and it's going to result in noise. Um, but if I reset this, it's dark. So that noise comes from the edit of the photo. So you need to find uh, an equilibrium, if you like, the nice sweet spot 
for you in your light polluted area or no light polluted area to get this sort of photo out of it. Now, if you go onto Facebook, if you're a Facebook user, I'll put a link down the bottom. We've actually got a Facebook group for this community, for the Bloody Legends, and a lot of guys are sharing their images on there, and they look, you guys are taking some spectacular photos using these techniques. So head over there, answer all the questions. We're kind of militant about how we let people in. If you're not answering those questions, you're just not going to get in. So answer the questions, answer them properly, and we'll let you in. Um, share your photos. People are in there helping each other out. It's a really good community to be part of. All right, guys, that's it for me. It's probably more than five minutes. I'll see you next week. Let the stars shine down.